everybody. Welcome to Everything is Weird, the Happy Holidays, I guess, the first episode, episode number one. So sorry if I sound stupid this whole time because I probably will because I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, I'm Imani, as you probably know, or maybe not, I don't know. And my special guest for today's episode, I need to stop doing this, is introduce yourself, kind sir. I'm Bailey. I am currently in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn, New York, um, by myself. Not really. I have two roommates, but by yeah, myself. No, I was like, what did you do to Michelle and Lindsay? <laughs> Michelle and Lindsay are out of here. Goodbye. Oh God, um, how are you taking them out? But yes, how, what are other introduction questions? All right, they know your name. How, how did we meet? Why do, how do I know you? Who even are you? Um, okay, so... I, I also go have tea, to, by the way, but, okay, sorry, wait, too. should we show our tea? There we go. Tea. You made tea, but maybe yeah, it's a mug. mug. Are you clinking? Okay. Clink. I was going to drop yeah, it on my laptop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not trusted. I shouldn't hold it over my laptop anyway. Okay. Um, All right, we're, so, we won't do that. So last year, the good old 2019, I went to college called SVA, and wow, Amani also went to SVA. That's what? how we me met. an art we, student, not anymore, but, but at one point. We, but the way we actually met at SVA was through our good friend Brianna, who Brianna knew Amani first, and then I was hanging out with Brianna, and she was like, let's go visit my friend Amani, who also lives in the dorm. And I was like, oh, okay, and that's how we met. I thought, no, I thought the original time was when we went to get ramen, because Brianna and I were going to get ramen, and then she was like, my friend Bailey's coming, is that okay? And I was like, yeah, sure. And oh, we were all like, I, really tired that day. <laughs> and I, I forget. No, because I remember her introducing you as my friend that's also in 24th Street. So I, I, for some reason in my head, I was like, oh, I met her at 24th Street. But I know for a fact it was definitely on the way to go get ramen. There we go. But you, we might have like unofficially met like one day at the dorms and I was like, who are you? I don't know. But I remember like the actual time that we like hung out was ramen and then Halloween. And I said, I love Bailey. And then, yeah, yeah. that's how it worked out. But there we I go. Remember. That's our long history. That's basically like a year. Our but very long it. history of a, a year. Very long it's history. Been, it's no it's November. So it's yeah. been a little over a year. It has. I was thinking we exactly we're already in September, I don't think. I was about to say we're already off topic, but to <laughs> I'll wrap this up real quick. But um on Halloween, I was so sad because I was I was like a year ago. I was with Bailey and Brianna, and we went to the Halloween parade, and I like frantically got us tickets for Rocky Horror, and it was so fun. And that was a year Wait. ago. That's so weird. Wait, you know what's really funny? So Evan, yeah. who is my boyfriend, um, was over uh, for Halloween, right? And we decided we were gonna go out somewhere real quick to go grab stuff before Halloween on Halloween. And the thing is, the shop I looked up is in Manhattan. And I didn't think about it too much. I just was like, whatever. A lot of places are in Manhattan. So we went to Manhattan. And you know where we got off? Where did you Exactly go? where the Halloween parade was. And you want to know how I recognized it? It's because we walked past. No, we walked past the CVS that we all corralled ourselves in. <laughs> and we were looking for Rocky Horror. <laughs> so like, and I was like, oh my god. I was like, this is where I was last Halloween. <laughs> the moment. Oh, that's so nice. So I was like, what? I was like talking to Evan about it. He's like, that's so sweet. I love it. And it was just me being frantic. It was a fun time. It was great. But okay, yeah. we're back on topic. How long, can you see how long we've been talking? Okay, I was about to be like, we already talked like for 30 minutes and we haven't even <laughs> discussed the topic. But it has been five minutes ish. <laughs> perfect. But um, yes, this is the holiday special. So we'll kind of talk holiday things. I mean, Halloween's a holiday, but I meant more like November, December type. Oh, that I one. Have my that month holiday. I have my my. Oh wait, should we do a fake emo, check? My emo sweater. Um, yes. It says corn on it. But it has reindeers and candy canes and XOs on it, so it's festive enough because I'm emo like that. 
Emo not costume. anymore, but I got this when I was really emo. Not anymore. Your hair was it. definitely bright pink at one point, and you have a mullet currently, and also a septum. I don't know about that. I also have an eyebrow piercing. <laughs> and the eyebrow piercing. Too, and like, wait, so I don't, wait for um, it. Yeah, Stretched ears. Oh, but wait, on the other ear to make me gay, I have an earring. It's the saw earring. Well, the saw clip. The, the it's a, paper. It's a saw. I mean, why is it saying paper clip? The, it's a, what is well, it called? Well, it's because it's a safety pin with a pin. piece of go. jewelry on it. That's yep. a saw. Just gay things. Just a couple of gay things. Just, okay, just we're back. Just emo things. <laughs> just queer emo things. But okay, we're back. So... Each episode, I should have explained this earlier, but it's fine. You just heard us ramble a little bit to get to know us better. But each episode, I let my lovely guests choose a topic, and I do not know what the topic is. So Bailey's going to tell me in three, two, one. The topic is... The difference of holidays in the city versus back in Bumblefuck, Pennsylvania. Because fun. they're different. And this is my second year spending the holidays in New York because last year was my first year, you know, college. But I was born, I was born and raised in Pennsylvania. And I've been in Pennsylvania my whole life up until last year. So I didn't really think that there's like certain things that like I didn't really think about because I'm from I'm from the countryside moving into the city. And it's just Bar like boy. first thing first is <laughs> how many holidays are celebrated in New York versus Pennsylvania. And like, what do you what, mean, how many are there? Like, I mean, my dad's Jewish and my mom's Catholic, so I celebrated Jewish and Catholic holidays, but yeah. like, they they recognize so many more holidays in New York than they do like in Pennsylvania. Like, kids actually get off for like Muslim holidays stuff too. Oh, but like, so back neat. in Pennsylvania, you only get off for like Christmas. You don't even get off for like any Jewish holidays. Yeah, because that actually, it's not that there's not like a high populace. Yeah, I remember that was a problem at. Oh no, you froze. Okay, you froze for like a second, but you're good. But I remember that was a problem at um like my school. This is like a very specific memory. But one of my friends, she was like she danced because you know I went to our school and stuff so basically we had like a dance performance and stuff that's like it takes place during winter time or like during the holiday season and she was upset because um like she had to be or like she had practice or like performance in, or something on it was either like on a day of Hanukkah or like Yom Kippur it was some Jewish holiday and like there's a few like Jewish kids in the dance department they were like please let us yeah. leave and they said no, we do not care about your religion. It's Christianity only. Ah, Christmas time moment. Yeah, no. And then they did that. That is literally so, Pennsylvania in a nutshell, if you're not anywhere near Philly, um, which a lot, a lot of people aren't. Pennsylvania is so much bigger than what Philly is. Mm -hmm. But, um, oh my geez, why? Ugh, someone's face having me. I'm okay, sorry. I love you. What's happening? <laughs> I'm here. I mean, I already started. Okay. I already started recording. I'm just gonna text. I'm just gonna text this person real quick and be like, "Ah, sorry, busy. Call later." Okay, that is all good. Later. I will serenade the people with some singing. Just I mean, it's okay. I'm just texting. Oh, are you are you done? <laughs> I was yeah, singing. it took me like two you? seconds. I can type really fast. Oh, I was about but, to put on a show, a show for the people. <laughs> but fine, I guess you're back. But um. <laughs> Pencil it was like uh, Pennsylvania Pennsylvania is it still going okay yes yeah, so, so like so like Pennsylvania just kind of just doesn't care if you're in the countryside about like other people's religions and like stuff like that so like I mean it never really bothered me because like none of both of my parents may be religious but like it doesn't really affect me because like I'm now like an atheist because both of my parents worship different religions but whatever yeah um you're just vibing yeah, it's whatever. It doesn't bother me. I don't, I could care less about anything about it. But like in New York, like people get off for like the Jewish holidays because there's so many Jewish people here. It just amazes me. Um, mm -hmm. But the funniest one is that it's not technically a holiday, but it is a day you get off in Pennsylvania from school. And that is the first day of hunting season. <laughs> What is I get me out of this country, please? So is so, that real? So okay, so hunting season. So in certain states, hunting season is like 
like you're not allowed to hunt outside of hunting season. Like it's illegal because if you hunt outside of it, you're going to diminish the popula population of like the animals there and you're gonna kill all the species in the area. So they designate a time framing for hunting season. And Pennsylvania is one of those states that does that. And since Pennsylvania is so like country and so like into their hunting and like so into like farm, um, public schools, uh, private schools, everywhere in PA, the schools get off the first day of hunting season because a lot of kids go hunting with their parents on the first day of hunting season. So they noticed, so when they noticed that this was like a trend of like kids just not even showing up to school, they just decided to make it a day off because there was too many kids not showing up anyway. Like it wasn't worth it for you for like two kids to show up and sit in class for the day. And like, That's because like the teacher's not going to teach to just the two kids because then the other kids need to be caught up and then it's, it's not worth it. So in Pennsylvania, the first day of hunting season um, is a day off from school. And it's really funny because I didn't even think about it while I was in New York because I wasn't think because I was like, because like it was the first day of hunting season and like my friends back in PA were like, oh, we had the day off. And I was like, oh, what? Uh, hunting season. And then like, I remember seeing a tweet about this one uh, college kid who skipped her day, who skipped her class on the day of hunting season like in college because yeah. she did not realize it was like not a national holiday that like all schools give off <laughs> that's so funny that's just like a thing that i didn't know at all that existed it does and that was i didn't even know there was up. like i know there's like a hunting well okay i mostly know that there's a hunting season because of what's that movie called not oh, over the it's literally called hunting season <laughs> Oh, is that what it's called? It's literally called hunting season. <laughs> yeah. I know. Is it about the bear and the other and like the deer yeah, and thing? Like the deer. Ooh. Yeah. That's what. I, that's all. That's all my information. Yeah, wait, it's either called open that season movie. or hunting. No, it's called, I think it's called, it's called open, open season. season. Yeah. There we go. Wait, I'm yeah. gonna look it up right now. <laughs> that's oh. literally all that I know about hunting. Like I've never like. Yeah. Hunting or open season is a 2006 anything. film. A classic. I wait, barely... can you, wait, hold on. Can we? Oh, there yeah. it is. If, or if anybody needs to remember what the classic animated film Open Season is, there we go. So... So, yeah. <laughs> and I like barely remember what it's about. So that shows how little I know about hunting culture um, and all of that jazz. I remember vaguely that this, that the bear was like a circus bear, like a pet bear. No, not a circus bear, a, a pet bear that didn't know how to like live like on his own. And then there was okay. this deer who was constantly being hunted, who then became friends with him because he was trying to escape a hunter. And like, oh, I remember because he his, his his um antler was broken. I remember that. Yeah, I don't remember how it his broke, antler was broken, but it did. But um, he like broke into this like bear's house well technically where he lived in the house because he was owned by a human and then he got lost in the woods and they were like trying to teach him how to be like a woodland animal where he was supposed to be and then in the end no sp okay spoilers for anyone who's never seen the <laughs> season no but please i think don't in the spoil end he ends up living season. in the woods <laughs> oh my gosh brianna would have my neck if i just started spoiling random things because she hates it it doesn't even matter if it's a movie she's like not gonna watch She's like, you're spoiling it. I'm like, Brianna, the movie came out in the 80s. <laughs> I don't but know like, what open, would she get mad about open season specifically? I don't know. She just gets I mad about know. spoilers in general because I'm so used okay. to just spoiling things that like, if it's something like I shouldn't be spoiling, I'll do it. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know about that. Just like spoiling like old things, like that's fine. But like, if it's like a new movie or something like that and you spoil it, it's you and me, we're fighting. <laughs> we're finding especially if it's like remember. something i really care about as of recently i think i spoiled something that is like older yeah that brianna was like why did you do that i was like i don't know she's gonna <laughs> yell at me when she sees this because she's gonna watch it and then she's gonna see that i'm calling her out <laughs> she's yeah. gonna Actually, this whole episode will just be called Calling Brianna Out. It's a race <laughs> video. Plotus' this podcast yeah. is just us roasting Brianna. You're welcome, Brianna. You're and welcome, Brianna. Sorry. Shout out to you. Uh, Shout not out to Brianna. Roast Cass, because Cass doesn't care when I spoil things. <laughs> Fair enough. In this house, so. we only roast 
Brianna and not Cass. I see, I see it on your as Oh, I as do love her dearly. We love her. As, as much as she hates my spoilers, I love her. Did you just like toast to her? I did. I ironically, I toasted to her. I didn't think about it, but I did it. Cheers. Clank, clank. You just clanked but, again. I was about to I say I mean, to something. be fair. Oh. Sorry, wait. No, 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 you're good. I'm like still thinking about it because my brain, like the gears are going wee woo wee woo. That's a siren, not gears. <laughs> what song? I mean, to be fair, make? I have, I have no perception of time right now. Oh, of course. Yeah. Like, is today Tuesday? Is today Wednesday? Today's Thursday. You want to know how I knew today was Thursday? How How did you know, Bailey? I started my first day of work in months. <laughs> oh yay! Oh wait, how did that go? Bailey works at McDonald's. He's a McDonald's master. He's so he's so good. Tell Tell them. Tell the folks. So uh, when I was 16, I started working for McDonald's down in PA, and I worked there until I graduated high school and actually moved to New York. Um, so I worked at McDonald's for two years, and then when I came to New York, um, I was unemployed for like the first couple of months because it's really hard to get a job in New York, especially if your only yeah. work experience was at a McDonald's for two years as a teenager. So, um, but at some point though, I ended up getting a job at a ramen noodle place in Times Square with my roommate, Michelle. And uh, the only reason why I was really able to get the job, I'm pretty sure is one, because of the kitchen experience and two, because I got a recommendation because M uh, Michelle already worked there. Um, and then I was working there for a month and then Corona happened and the, uh, the place shut down because they don't do takeout and that was the only thing allowed was takeout oh, like even they before, go like, out the of outdoors. business um they're not technically out of business because times square hasn't opened up but the brooklyn location is open because they're able to oh. do outside seating mm -hmm. uh but like times square cannot do outside seating like it's it's too compact like where it is like that's you yeah, can't that so they they're not even gonna bother but um i'm sure i think they're doing something now though i don't quite know uh yeah. but I haven't worked since March <laughs> and I've been living in New York since then I, I haven't moved back to PA obviously I stayed in New York I actually ended up moving apartments in the middle of corona um mm -hmm. but you have exposed walls brick walls I do. so it's I worth wish it. I could show it but my computer's like wired into like three different things so if I like try to turn uh this picture like a sexy, sexy apartment with exposed brick walls and I have exposed brick. rats and rats I, and I have like pet, pet rats. rats. Not, Specify yeah. their pets. Yeah, no pet <laughs> we don't have to. We don't have to get an exterminator. They are pets. Nasty rats in his house. They're everywhere. It's all right. The first apartment I lived in, we had mice that ate all of our food. <laughs> we had mm, New York living. Yeah. <laughs> and then we moved so into nice. this place and there's no mice. Definitely. Yay. <laughs> but, I mean, it's um, a nicer. Oh, yeah. Well, I haven't been to this new one, but I assume it is a nicer place in general. You have not now. been to this new one, but we did make plans originally way back when, even before Corona, for you to come visit. Mm -hmm. And then, mm -hmm. because it was when you were talking I, about not staying at SVA and stuff. And we're like, oh, come visit us anyway. And you like planned for September. And I remember that. Yes, I asked. bought my ticket. And then I said, oh, everything's bad in the world. And then I like still have the credit. So I'm coming. I have to come before I move into my apartment. Once I go to um, UGA, like Athens, you know, when I transfer to the other school. So I will come yeah, yeah, yeah. before July. <laughs> Because our well, move-in date would be July 31st. Oh, wait, I'm dumb because it would be summer. So, I don't know. I can still come because even, like, Brianna and Kaz aren't, like, far. So, they could still come up and I could be, like, I love that. Yeah, family. so you can come to New York, even though that seems like such a bad idea because of corona. But, like, yeah. so like not I, now. we, we are have all corona-free household. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Brianna. but like you can come visit. It's our own apartment, whatever. And then Brianna is just a train ride away, and Cass is a two-hour drive away. There's no trains to Philly apparently, but it's that's fine. so weird. I feel like there should be because y'all are like close. There's I don't a know bus, how a map a bus works, from Philly. but yes. Well, the thing is, well, Cass doesn't live in like Center City, where like all the buses would be to take it, and she doesn't yeah. live close enough to like Center. I mean, in theory. 
she could probably take like public transportation. But like also at the same time, public transportation in PA is the worst because in New York, the subway runs like every five minutes. Um, even during Corona, it's every 10 minutes. Um, PA, if you miss your bus, you have an hour until the next bus. <laughs> oh, that's even worse than Georgia's public transportation because we have like. like Hellertown, if you crappy. miss your if you miss the bus, it comes in an hour again. That's so upsetting. What what are it's they like doing? It's like one bus. <laughs> oh no. It's like one bus all throughout PA and it just goes. Oh, like literally just one? Like a singular no. bus. Okay. That was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I literally thought I was like, oh, I guess that makes sense for why it's like every hour. But even then that's pretty impressive for like one bus. If it were one bus, <laughs> they should do You know that. what? Every time I think of buses, I think about the M23. And I think about when Brianna told me the M23 was a free bus because she didn't know you had to pay to get on oh. beforehand. And I just moved to New York, so I believed her. <laughs> and then we both got on the, we both hopped that bus for months. Didn't even realize yes. we were doing something wrong. NYPD, do not watch this. <laughs> Bailey is committing NYPD. <laughs> You know what? What are they gonna do? Cut they the don't cameras, know exactly the where I live. Um, <laughs> cut the cameras! Cut the cameras! Cut the cameras! Wait. Well, no, it's really funny though because like there's I know, NYPD click off. I know like the perfect places to like jump. Like in Brooklyn, you can't jump anywhere in Manhattan. It's literally the worst. I'm just kidding. The L train, but <laughs> actually, this episode which is I have done in front of you before. Remember? Oh my gosh, that was so scary. <laughs> and we thought that you like died or something. We were like, where is this? We thought you got arrested. It was so <laughs> Oh, uh, This is a funny, okay. This is the best story ever. So I used to have an unlimited Metro card for the month um, when I was commuting. Cause I've, I've been in Brooklyn this whole time and the school was in Manhattan. So I would commute every day. But um, occasionally I would take my Metro card since it's unlimited and I would swipe for other people. But the issue with swiping for other people is that since it's unlimited, the way they combat you swiping for others um, is it makes you oh, wait 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah. It makes you wait 15 minutes to swipe the next one. And the thing is Brianna and Amani have already gotten their Metro card and swipe and we're like ready to like swipe, but I swiped someone else in and I didn't think about it. Cause I was like, oh shit, they're gonna be able to catch the next train without me. So. I said, fuck it, and I jumped the turn. I jumped the turn like, But I didn't think about it, but then I did it. But then, because the thing is, I was really stupid, and I forgot that was, like, a, pol a high police one. And there was police officers right there right. on the literally other side. So nearby. And I jumped. I literally, the minute I looked, no, because here's the funny thing. I jumped, I looked, I saw two police officers there, and I turned the other way, and I disappeared into the crowd <laughs> because so it was a really fast. crowded subway. <laughs> And we were like, where is he? Where did he I Remember go? you guys started <laughs> shouting my name? And I was like, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> I was like, I'm not about to get a fine for this. I'm not about to get a fine. Because it's $100. It's $100. That was so scary. I said, I can't believe we left Bailey. Bailey got arrested. Bailey's going to be sent to prison forever. This is uh, the worst day uh, of her life. I'll never forget the so time funny. I thought I was going to get a fine because an MTA employee came up to me and saw me jump once when I was with Brianna and Mani again. I've jumped multiple times. Wait, before. when was this? Was or this was the same time? Am I? Because I don't remember. No, this that. was like, a different one. This, this was a. Hmm, I don't remember which train it was. I think it was. I think it was you and. I think it was you and. Hmm. Where were we going? I don't remember, but regardless, I thought I was gonna get a fine because an MTA employee saw me jump, and they don't really actually care. But in my head, I was like, they're gonna care. And then because he came up to me oh. and he said, you should really pay for that, and I was like, oh, oh wait, shit, and then sorry, he sorry, like dude. walk with you to like, he? and then he went into like a door or something like that. Like, yeah, and then he the was door. walking. And then the thing is, he was walking with me, so I thought he was like gonna like put me like in a room to find me for some. I don't wait, know. okay, I remember this. Then, but then he walked in the door, and then I tried walking it after him because I'm stupid. And he was like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, "I don't know." And I, I turned around and walked. To <laughs> I thought I was in trouble. I thought I was in trouble. Which is <laughs> because I've never once been confronted by the police nor the uh, uh, MTA on the subway. So yeah. I was like, I don't know how this works. So there's that. Also, 
the funny thing about getting fined like in person like getting fined on like your car they can get your license plate like they yeah. know who you are but getting fined like in person like you could what stops you from just saying you don't have like an id or like any form of identification and then just giving them a random name i for a minute i was like i feel like that's illegal but also how will they find you exactly or what about if they're like they get i'm trying to think because usually well, like when you commit a crime and like they don't have like your id or know where you are they like draw and they're like sorry this person and they're like it's this person and then they do the drawing and then i don't well, know like, how the crime works but like well no because the other the other month i went back to pa to go see my mom right mm-hmm. and um i ended up hanging out with my friend who um, is a, is I love my friend. Uh, they're very wonderful. But anyway, we were driving around Allentown back in PA, and then we stopped somewhere. And like in New York, you can double park on the street. No one really cares. And in Allentown's kind of the same way. Like people double park all the time, like in the street. Well, yeah. I was sitting in the car, and my friend went to go grab something and double parked. And I was just waiting because it wasn't going to take that long anyway. But then a police officer showed up right behind the car and was like flashing his lights. And I was like, oh, "Oh, shit, we're going to get in trouble for double parking. So instead of, you know, getting out of the car or like signaling, signaling the guy over, I like sank in the front seat. I was like, if he can't see me, there's nothing. He can't do anything. Right. But then he saw me anyway. So he walked over to the window and like asked me to like roll it down. So I did. And then... He was like, he's like, why is the car here? And I was like, I was like, oh, my friend's just running to get something. And he was just like, he's like, I'm gonna write your friend a ticket. I was like, you shouldn't though. My friend's about to be here. And then he was like, do you have? He's like, can you move the car? And I couldn't. I have. I've had my license since I was 16. But for yeah. some reason, my fight or flight kicked in, and I said, I don't have my license. Oh, and he no. was like, oh, what do you mean? He's like. I was like, I don't know how to drive. <laughs> I was like, I don't know You're how to drive. You're just digging yourself deeper and deeper into a hole this whole entire time. This is just. I was like, I was like, my friend's the one that's driving the car. I can't drive. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a lie. I know how to drive. I'm driving. I mean, I get why you didn't say these things. I would have just cried. So I understand um, where you're coming so he from. Just, <laughs> so he just looked at me and he was like, do you have any form of ID? I was like, I don't even have an ID. <laughs> and he was like what am I supposed to do then I was like I don't know I don't have any form of identification He'd be like, I don't have a social security <laughs> number I don't got nothing <laughs> I'm off the grid and then my friend and then my friend came out and saw the cop and immediately was like wait 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 and then talk themselves out of a ticket and then we drove off out of a ticket is this like what it's like to be white what is going <laughs> is this how it is no my friend's not white that's the funny thing what my friend's not amazing. white it's just allentown's allentown's just like that where you can just kind of like talk yourself out of it just by being like hey it was only like a couple of seconds it was whatever like come on like come on and then immediately after ooh, this is actually just kidding i'm not gonna say that that's a little too much but <laughs> nypd you still watching this <laughs> They're just, taking notes, at this point. They're just <laughs> taking notes at this point. They're like, okay, get that man. He's doing illegal <laughs> things. <laughs> oh, that's a mess. But I mean, like, I, I'm glad you, like, survived that, like, barely. And just, like, all of your other <laughs> encounters with almost getting arrested. Bailey has not I've murdered anybody two. or, like, stuff. <laughs> not real crime. I haven't. I've just had too many fun. close encounters with cops that I care to, than I care to have. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> because I don't like I don't like when they're up in my business. I don't like when they're up in my friend's business. Leave me alone. I am an entity that doesn't need to be within your peripheral. Ignore me. <laughs> Ignore me and my friends. <laughs> We're not even here. We're, even just We're not even here. Ignore us. <laughs> we are we are enigmas in your fascination. Don't even look at us. Where you don't even, don't even, look. Wait. don't even look. What if her face but, is in mugs? Anyway, what sorry, what? <laughs> oh, are we what back if, to the face line? What if? If I were a mug, I would be... I don't know. 
I like actually no, that's why I like the mugs, even though they're difficult to drink out of. Like the round one, like the eyeball one that I gave the you. The eyeball one. Yeah, I like the round, the spherical ones, and then you're like hee hee, and they're like ooh round, but they're difficult to drink out of because yeah. it's like curvy, and then the teeth at the bottom and everything's bad. But I like those mugs. <laughs> it's gotten dark. If I when did it happen? Yeah, it got dark real quick, which is why I have both my desk lamp on and then I have my actual like room light on because I knew it was going to get dark and you weren't going to be able to see me no more. Um, but what was I saying? Oh, yeah. If I were a mug, <laughs> if I were a mug, I would either be the cactus mug I have, which is also incredibly hard to drink out of because it's like that's still that same like round shape because it because right. like just the way it's formatted. Or I would be one of the weird wacky mugs my mom likes to buy me because my mom looks at a mug and is like, Bailey would love this. Like I have a mug that just says, you've got to be kitting me right now. Like kitten. Me slapper. Hilarious joke. My mom has also gotten me those weird hipster mugs from Walmart that have like a font, like an animal on it with like hipster glasses and like a patterned background. I don't know. Oh, 2014. That. I know what you're. Yes. <laughs> I just got transported. My mom, to my mom loved to buy me those type of mugs, and I, I like mugs. They're fun. My friend Aiden once got me a McDonald's. Wait, actually, what if I go grab it? Because this <gasps> one's just hard to. Wait, explain. you should do a know. mug. Well, okay, I was gonna say do a mug tour, but like you have too many mugs, so let's not do that. But go, go get some. Okay, mugs. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab a couple of mugs that are beautiful. Wait. All right. All right, so I've only grabbed a couple of my mugs because I have so many of them. I currently have one, two, three, four, five, six of my many mugs here. That is awesome. This is my first ever mug in my collection. It's a Union That's Jack. That's also, also um, very my mom 2014. Got it for me when I was really, my mom got it for me when she was actually in England as like a souvenir thing. That's so. Cool. I used to only drink tea out of this. I would only drink tea because I was like, it's a British mug. It needs to only have tea out of it. And I've never once drank coffee out of this. And and we have my everyday, we have my everyday mug that my mom got me. This is the cactus one I said. That's like an odd shape. Cactus mug. Cactus mug. It's round, but it's so cute. Look at the little flower on it. Yeah, it it has a little flower and the little handle is just so cute. It's it's really funny though, because like if you look inside, you can see the ridges. And also my coffee (laughs) stains, because I drink coffee out of it so often, but, (laughs) so. I feel like that must be, like, weird to make, like, I'm assuming it's, like, pottery to make it, or maybe not, I don't know how making mugs works. I mean, I have a Keurig, so it's not, (laughs) you just press a button and it makes. Uh, Oh, no, no, I meant, sorry, I meant the shape of the mug, like, how it's rigid and, like, weird, that, like, I was like, how would they make that? This is the kitten one, it says... You've cat to be kidding me, right? Meow. Oh, <laughs> my mom me loves headache. this. My mom lo- loves this mug. She gave it to me. <laughs> uh, it's it's a mug. I was also, in relation cat. to the cat mug, are you ready for this one? Yes. It's a cat. <laughs> there we go. It's I like the glasses. The, cat. the glasses are funny. I know. I want to look like so that cat. Cute. It's uh, like does it say where it's from? It just says it's microwavable safe. Oh, it's from Walmart. Yep. It's from Walmart. Oh, fun. Good, good. I wish your other mug though had um a cat on it or like some type of cat. The one that's like in me right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is the Tumblr 2014 hipster mug I was talking about. Oh wow. It's a. <laughs> I, I don't know how this makes me feel. <laughs> There was a there was a bunch of different ones with different animals, but my mom got me the fox. Interesting. It's like it's like the eleventh doctor yeah. mixed with what does the fox say? Okay. This one is my most favorite mug because a friend got it for me when I worked at my previous McDonald's in Hellertown. Um and it's a Garfield mug. <gasps> oh my gosh, cats with love Odie. that. And it says, use your uh, friends wisely. And the reason why they got it for me is not because of Garfield, but because it's sponsored by McDonald's. Oh, that was And it's fun. also from the 70s, if you can see Triple the copyright of 1978. That's cool. Yeah, my friend found it in an antique store. 
I've never okay. once uh, used this to drink because I was like, it's an antique. It's, oh, it's and then I was like, mug. what do you do with it then? It's just I a thought you were going to be like, I don't use it to drink. I use it to like use the bathroom and, and then I throw it out <laughs> my window onto yeah, some no, this passerby. This really cute head. though because it's Garfield. I like that one. Is he skating? So that's my... It's like you. That is, <laughs> that is the, ex that is some of my mugs. Um, I did not bring the eyeball mug, unfortunately, because it's was, was too far in the back and I couldn't reach it. That is fair. Because <laughs> I love the mug, it. but it's so hard to use that I put them, I put the easier mugs to use like in the front. That makes sense. It is small and round. I told you I wasn't going to stay on my topic. Of course. No, no. I wasn't expecting us to. We have, <laughs> but what else, what else should we talk about? I don't know we should. Is there more? We just went on like a whole entire, <laughs> like ten different, <laughs> different topics as you said before. I mean, I can talk about uh, the skateboard I have. Show me. Did you get a new one? Because there's a, because there's a no. This is an old. Oh, one. there's a story behind old. this skateboard. Okay. So. There is this shop called Home Base in uh, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, which is where I went to school for high school. Um, yeah. That has a skate shop called Home Base. And um, they're really cool because they uh, they do like vintage stuff, but they also do like modern stuff and they also do um, local things. So like a lot of local artists come in because skate shops sell t-shirts. A lot of the local artists will come in and sell their work there if they're friends with the people that work there, right? So there's this one dude who's a local artist who sells shirts. And I remember I bought his last shirt that was in the store that day that he was in the store. The dude was in the store when I was buying it. And it was really funny because when I was buying the shirt, um, the, the guy was ringing me up. He's like, you know who, he's like, you know who's the artist for this shirt? I was like, no, I don't. I was like, I just like the way it looks. And he's like, it's a local artist. I was like, oh, that's so cool. And then I was like, who? And they're like, this dude. I was like, who? oh, okay, I don't know his name. And they pointed to him because he was standing right next to, he was literally standing right next to me. And he went, that's, that's him. him. I was like, yo, that's crazy. And I like talked to him about the shirt and we were just having a good time, right? And then my friend, yeah. my friend Abby was also there at the same time because she was looking to get like used skateboards because she wanted to make shelves out of them because people do that. They make shelves out mm -hmm. of their used skateboards. So yeah. um, a lot of skate shops take in older boards to just uh, get rid of because sometimes people don't know how to uh, throw away their boards. So home base had a couple of boards that were broken or like were like like this where they're just old and used. And the dude specifically was there because he was dropping off his board, right? And I looked at it, and as my friend Abby took the board, this was this is the dude's board. Yeah. I looked at her and I said, "Can I have the board since I bought his shirt?" <laughs> And she was like, yeah, sure, because I have enough boards. So this is a board from a local artist from Bethlehem who I have the shirt of. Don't know who he is anymore, but... What do you mean? You don't remember uh, his name or whatever? No. You saw like him two, on Instagram. This was like, like two years ago, but um, he didn't have an Instagram. That was the issue. He didn't have an Instagram. So I wanted to get his social media. He's like, I don't have it. But, but like, yeah, how is he going to make art without social media? Like, how he like how you make art without no social media? <laughs> How you make all social like, media? He was just a skater boy who liked to do it locally, and he would sell through home base. So okay, that's cool. But uh, it's really funny though because the thing about this board is that it's yeah, it's beat to hell, but like the grip tape is still intact, like pretty fucking solid. And uh, I made a joke that I was gonna buy old treks and like bearings and shit. Well, not old. We'll replace it and make this a practice board for my friends, but I never did because Corona mm -hmm. happened. Yeah. So I was like, there's no use. But it's really funny, though, because in the process of having this board, I got a new board for my birthday back in February because I was skating the same board for seven years. And it's so when I got so when I got my new board, I've already ruined the grip tape because I'm the worst. Oh, wait, did I see that one? Yeah, February. Yes. Yeah, I yeah remember. Okay. it's from I it's from my birthday. So I, since I skate around Manhattan, um, I have longboard wheels on it, even though it's a skateboard, because um, I'm not dealing with any cracks. <laughs> I'm not dealing with dying because of the cracks in Manhattan. Because so, you definitely almost died really multiple fun. times while skateboarding. 
across yes, the street. I like this one. It says heroin on it, which I didn't notice because I like the dude on it, but it's fine. But I also have translucent grip tape because it also says heroin skateboards on the actual board itself. The board is yellow. Oh, it's translucent. Yeah, so, Wait. So, the, so the grip tape itself is translucent, so you can see anything on this side of the board. Um, the only issue, though, is that I ride my board in the rain, which mm -hmm. I'm sorry, every skater that might be watching this, that I ride my board in the rain. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, this, but this is one of the common things of riding your board in the rain is that the grip tape comes off. But it's oh, fun, though, because the board itself is yellow, and I picked purple grip tape. So it's like just fun. Wait, I'm, con I'm confused, though, because you said it was translucent, but then it's also so, purple. So the, so the grip sense? tape itself is purple. Okay. So the grip tape itself is a translucent purple. So when it goes on the board, oh. it stays purple. But it's translucent enough that you can see things on the board, like heroin skateboards. Because a lot of times skateboards have one side that's fully decorated. And then on the other side, there's like the brand is there. But typically it gets covered by grip. So no one ever really sees it. But mm -hmm. that's why I wanted the translucent board because I wanted to see the brand. I thought it was fun. But the thing is, I ride my board in the rain, so I've worn away the grip tape there, but it's whatever, because I love this board so much. It's only a year old. No, it's not even a year old. It's from my birthday. It's from February. Uh, almost, almost a year old. A little less than a year oh old. Oh my god, I'm gonna be 20. Oh my god. They, everybody's turning 20 and it's weird. I, 20 feels old, but it's not even that old. But I'm like double digits and I'm like, oh, it's time to die now. <laughs> well, because once you so hit much. 20, you're no longer a teenager. Because technically, even though I'm 19 and I live on my own and have a job and like I don't live with my mom, I, I'm still a teenager by law because I'm 19. That's weird. So. Age. I have a while to go. Here's some, in June. here's some more fun art that I just casually have lying around. Um, Who's that art from? This is a wood panel from my friend Esperanza, who lives in Pennsylvania. Um, nice. She's very cool. It actually says stuff on the, oh, it doesn't say anything on the back. It was just them writing about uh, the wood itself. But this is called Drunken Panda. Um, and this was, I actually won this in an Instagram thing, which was very funny because I wasn't expecting to win. Because I was like, oh, I'm you won friend. an Instagram thing? pick someone they don't actually know. So uh, oh, like okay. years ago, like years ago when I still lived in PA, her dad has an Instagram that we all follow because he's an artist. She lives in an artist family. And um, I just commented and I, I ended up winning it. And I remember they dropped it off and I was so happy and I love it. And it sits on my desk because I think it's so cute. Um, but they, ha they hand make all of their stuff. So this is hand painted and hand glazed and all that. And you can actually oh. see like all the like nice wood texture. Ooh. Can you? Oh, yeah, I was about to say, it's so bright, I cannot. Like, go farther back. I, there we go. Or closer, I guess? Okay, there we go. Now I can see yeah, it. The wood texture. And, like, the little oh. splashes of paint on the back. Yeah. Um, I also have some art behind me that you can't really see, but that's my art. What is it? Well, technically, this one's a collaboration between me and a friend, and that one up there is my art, but it's too dark to see. I have more art yeah, around the tell. bedroom, but I'm, once again, cannot move my camera. Uh, is that art that I've seen? Have... Is it on your art account? Yes, all of the art that's on my wall is all art that's on my art account. So, so like Actually, I have a painting over there. I have my moonlight. I have my. I printed out my moonlight painting that I did a while ago, mm -hmm. and then I printed out a a recent painting that I did of one of Cass's characters. But this one is a commission I got. Um, oh, it's have, so nice like not that long ago, from my good friend Nate, who uh, is an amazing artist who I've known for five years at this point, because um, he used to go to the same school that I went to in high school. And I remember commissioning him because I, I, just, I just wanted a commission of stuff. And he, he hit me up originally because I forgot he had commissions open. <laughs> yeah. But I've, I actually have three of his t-shirts since high school <laughs> because he makes shirts as well and um I just really like his style because this is all traditional pen work I sorry about the oh. blur I don't want to take it out of the wrapping oh. that's all but, good it's so cool though yeah I love his style um I can send you his Instagram after this he's very Please talented do. he actually lives in okay. Philly now um that's cool. so good for him for doing what he wants to do 
but actually talking about art style well unrelated unrelated to him but related to you but like I was just going through your art account one day because I was just like I like Billy's art and like you're you have like 30 different styles you have like 30 different art styles. <laughs> like I kept scrolling down and I was like what this is so, new and so this is has, this. This so is here's nice. the really funny thing in high school I was very consistent okay I wasn't consistent but I was consistent so like I was consistent with like my photorealism stuff with how like like my proportions about my shading and like my color palettes because in high school I was really into fine art so mm -hmm. I had a very distinct style of how my fine art looked and it's how I wanted it to be. And I didn't really draw cartoons. I actually did not really start drawing like, like I had characters, but I didn't draw them actively until I hit um, uh, college where I met Brianna and Cass who draw nothing but like their characters and like cartoony yeah. things and stuff like that. And it just encouraged me to start drawing my characters because we also then ended up playing vampire, which created more characters for us to draw. And it was just um, like, I only do character art now, which is really funny because like, I even have like, like I have like all my old paintings, but I haven't painted in literally months, except for this one painting that I have currently, I have it in my hand because at one point in the middle of quarantine, I said, I need to go back into fine art for a hot second because all I was doing was digital art and like character art. So I have this oil painting that I did oh yeah oh wait oh that's like actual i thought that was like a digital painting because you do digital nope. paintings a lot that makes this it is, like, um, that's so nice this is a that's traditional so nice. oil painting that i did a couple months ago um i have to wait a couple more months before i can varnish it because oil paint doesn't technically okay so i'm touching it right now and technically yeah. it's dry right but oil paint doesn't actually dry <laughs> so the issue with varnishing oil paint is that it might crack and like ruin the painting so um i have to wait a couple more months before i can varnish this because technically you need a six month waiting period before you can uh, varnish any oil but like acrylics mm -hmm. you can varnish them as soon as they're dry it's whatever no well, i know nothing about art but that's cool well i'll say i know nothing about visual painty drawy art as you know yeah. but that is cool I also have another really piece of art fun. that's of me that my roommate Lindsay did of me back in high school. Lindsay did this is, that? Yeah, that's Lindsay what did is, this. It's all embroidery. It, that's embroidery? I'm losing my mind. Yeah, no, this is embroidery. The like, only thing she did in embroider it was my face and my shirt, but all of this, like my hair, the background, is embroidery. What? That's so crazy. Mm -hmm. It How? took her three months. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Look at your And then hair. she lost it for a hot second. And then when she finally found it, she gave it to me because I love it so much. And my only my only issue with it is not her. It's the fact that I want to get it framed, but it's so hard to frame like round embroidery. So currently it's just on, it's in a piece of cardboard <laughs> until. Well, like usually it's in the hoop. Like does she have her hoop still? Like the hoop that she did the embroidery in? I mean, I she, maybe, I don't know. But because you can use that as a frame if you want to. Yeah, it's fine the way it is though, because I just love it. I love Lindsay. It's art. so nice. That's so crazy. <laughs> I had no idea she could embroider. I mean she can do everything. Oh yeah. So I'm not like super yeah, surprised. No. Well, because every time you've met her and you've talked to her, she was filming. <laughs> yeah. Because so, she like, went I, I she went into something. film. So yeah. but, but like I I still knew she could like draw and stuff, but I didn't know she could embroider. I need to talk to her about uh, that because can, I've tried it. She can embroider, she can watercolor, she can draw, she can oil paint. She doesn't like oil painting though, but she can oil paint. Um, she can sculpt as well, but like she also doesn't like sculpting either. <laughs> but she can do it though. Uh, I don't know what else off the top of my head that she can do. But she's a, she's a very well-rounded artist that can do a lot of different mediums. Mm -hmm. Um, currently she's making Muppets for school. <laughs> she's making Muppets? She's making Muppets, like puppet, like Muppets, yeah. because she wants, no, no, she wants to, because no. she doesn't have actors for her film class because it's middle oh, Corona and yeah, everything's yeah. online. So she's making Muppets. <laughs> That's so crazy. Um, yeah, the, the film program, I mean, like all, all of the programs must be weird because it's art school online is weird. But yeah, yeah. I didn't even think about like, 
film and like I keep bumping the computer sorry but yeah. um yeah I didn't even think about like film and like actors and like I feel bad for like people doing like their thesis project this year and just everything oh yeah people that are graduating this year when SVA said that they're going to be online for the rest of the year I was like I feel so bad because like me like personally that. my major is hard to do at home mm -hmm. because like if I don't have the uh, like the equipment which I do I have a laptop that can handle my programs but like to the people that yeah. don't have the equipment because like specifically because you know they were relying on SVA to supply it it's hard because like I don't need to film anything everything's on my computer because it's like it's all just animation stuff it's all 3D like programs so like I don't ever have to worry about not finding actors I never have to worry about you know oh, I don't have the equipment to record. I don't have the equipment for lighting. I don't have mics, like stuff like that. So I just feel bad for anyone who has to have like other people involved, like film majors or like, or like even photography majors. Like the, one, the only art I've been seeing of the photography majors as of recently, and I'm not saying that this is the only thing they're doing, but like as of recently, it is like people either photographing the protests in New York or photo or like, the uh or like when biden won the presidency they were photographing like people being excited about it but like i feel it just kind of hurts if you, especially if you're like that photographer that's like into like people and not like anything else yeah you know I, mean, I know i know you can be a photographer without people but i know there's a lot of people in new york specifically that like photography with people in it so yeah yeah i would have not had a good time i know like a few of my photography friends are taking like this year off and then coming back like next year and stuff but hopefully everything will yeah. be back to normal next year but who knows anything can yeah. happen i <laughs> i already moved I to new york worry. i was like i don't i was like i'm not gonna take a year off because i've already moved to new york i moved to new york specifically to do, to do school yeah uh i might as well still do it while i'm here which is a bit of a mistake kind of not really like I enjoy school and I like it but also it's really tiring to sit at my my desk for long because the difference between like sitting at my desk and sitting in the labs is the labs closed at midnight and yeah. like campus wasn't open till 9 a.m so technically I was only there from 9 a.m to midnight but at my but in my own home there's no time limit for anything <laughs> You're just like I will do computer stuff literally forever. Like and like the minute it hits midnight, I don't have to log out of my computer and go home because I'm already home. I can keep working, or like mm -hmm. I can I can wake up at six a.m. and start my work at six a.m. and work for hours on end and without even taking a break for myself. Because at least even working in the labs, um, the main reason why I ate. I actually ate was Brianna because Brianna gets hungry and then when Brianna gets hungry she can't focus she on gets, anything. Correct. So the only reason why I actually ate anything at all while I was at school was because Brianna was like I'm hungry we're getting food and I'm very grateful for it because, <laughs> because I would not have taken care of myself as well as I did without her. But well, literally <laughs> like yeah like our group dinners and stuff was like the main reason that I ate because I was like, I have things to do, and I'd be busy. No, and exactly. Be like, it's Brianna, one night. <laughs> no, Brianna found a way to cut out time to have group meals together to make sure we were like taking care of ourselves that way. And I'm really grateful for that. And I don't think I ever told her that specifically. I should tell I should tell her to her face instead of telling a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I mean she'll watch it. She'll watch it and then well. she'll be like, oh my god, we <laughs> yeah, it's so nice. but yeah thank you for feeding us remember when brianna's mom gave us food that one time and her food is oh. so good now i'm just hungry oh. i had I'm her so food right i now. had her food fresh off the stove because i visited brianna <laughs> fresh off the stove well no uh, because yeah. i got her food is still good after it's been frozen and warmed up oh, yeah. but like i had it like the day it was made like she was like i came over for dinner it yeah. was Oh, literally food. it's so good like i because i also came over too as you know like when i was still there and yeah. she made dinner and i said <laughs> all i eat is like trader joe's pasta <laughs> and now yeah! I'm <laughs> yo and that's me so good. <laughs> you know it's my favorite way of lazy cooking now that i'm thinking about it <laughs> because i was looking at brianna's like spice rack and she has so many spices but my lazy way of cooking okay 
I love to season my food with hot things. I love hot mm -hmm. spices and so did my roommate. So we have a lot of hot spices. We have a lot of paprika. We have a lot of um, sriracha valentina. We have um, th this chili lime spicy flakes from like uh, Trader Joe's. We have red chili peppers uh, flakes. We have so many jalapenos in our fridge. We just love hot food. But whenever I'm really lazy, like if I'm making like it like eggs or whatever, I'm like salt, pepper, garlic powder, maybe some paprika. Okay, I'm good. <laughs> and then you go, mm -mm, yummy. But it's uh, really I funny don't... though, because we're just we're just like that when we're lazy because we have so many spices, but we're just like the the main three. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how season. Do you have Creole seasoning? Have what? Do you have Creole seasoning? Do you know what that is? I mean, we probably do. I don't know. <laughs> it's like in a green, like, cylinder container. I don't know if it's a southern thing or not. That would be interesting if it is. But basically, it's like a seasoning, and it has, like, salt and, like, red pepper. And, wait, I'm going to look it up. All right. Well, we, we have um, something like that, and it's specifically wait, I'm my scared adobo. to look it up. <laughs> wait, I was saying I'm scared to look it up because I don't want to, like, stop the recording i won't mm -hmm. no, I'm but gonna do it. i mean we have something like that it's like it's all purpose seasoning from adobo and it's like okay, it's, it's meant working. for like it's meant for like chicken it's meant for like vegetables it's meant for like everything but we don't use it as often it's just there for like emergencies of like if we want to like if we bought chips from a bodega of chips i'm british now if we bought fries chips. from a bodega <laughs> yeah from a bodega and they were like under seasoned or like no seasoning at all we'll just throw like the all-purpose seasoning on them because then it tastes good but like yeah yeah it's fine i think it is an all-purpose seasoning so it might be like the same breed of Breed, breed it's probably yeah. just a different brand that i've never used because adobo is so popular in new york oh, okay so like i mean okay. it's popular pretty much everywhere in the north because pennsylvania also adobo is popular but like i I've, I've never once used this much adobo in my life until i've come <laughs> to new york <laughs> and they go ah you all taste the same it's, it's yeah. all the same food. <laughs> you, right. you just put it in your mouth and then yeah and then you call it a day it's all good yeah well, it's also like how Goya is really popular too. I've never, I know the brand exists. I've never used it, but I've seen it around the time. Yeah. It's just, it's just seasoning. I really don't taste the difference between different brands of seasoning. I'm not going to lie. I don't really care enough because then we also have Trader Joe's seasonings because Lindsay and Michelle work at Trader Joe's. Yeah. So like we have like just Trader Joe's brand stuff as well. I don't notice the difference. I don't care. Seasoning is seasoning. I'll eat whatever. It's just like mm, salt. Mm. Mm, sodium. <laughs> hand, mm, hand, over, sodium. hand over the sodium. Give it over. I want Give it. me the sodium. The sodium. Mm. Get. I thought we were about to sing. I thought we were about to harmonize for a second. Three, two, one. Yeah, we're harmonizing. Oh my god, come on. We, Wait, what are we, we saying? <laughs> Give me the sodium. Come on, we give me the sodium. This. Okay, okay. And we're not going to talk about like what the harmony is, we'll just have to figure it out. Three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> Be the sodium. Um, that was really good. <laughs> I think my tea looks for. so gross right now. I didn't finish all of mine, but it's definitely cold. I'm gonna drink some. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's really, that's really cold. I don't like it. I mean, I kind of. It's not horrible. It's like a weird type of cold. But like, if it was bubble tea, then I'd be like. I'm really thinking about what it would taste like if I just put this in my mouth. Please don't do. It. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Please don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> this, but. We're getting to the part of the podcast where it's chaotic. Oh my god! Okay, okay. We're it's ending. Just the like, I just taste like I I'm drinking tea. <laughs> but you're. Uh, I thought you were about to like actually eat it. Oh, you're just sucking on it. Yeah. Okay. I I do. I mean, I don't do it often, but I've done it before, and I'm like, oh, it's like you're just sucking. The yeah, I wasn't gonna eat tea the tea out. leaves, which is why I was like. I don't know why you're so like surprised that I'm gonna suck on a tea bag, yeah. but yeah, I thought you were gonna like ooh chomp chomp. 
eat the tea bag. <laughs> that's what I thought you were gonna do. Um, that's the end of the episode. The end of uh, everything is weird, but happy holidays, I guess. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Bailey, for being here. We yak yak yak. Thank you so much up. for having me. Of course. Oh wait, this is really unrelated. But I forgot to share my shirt. Wait, did I talk about my shirt? You did not. This I did not. Okay, this is a final thing before we go because Bailey showed his, but it's a Keith Haring Christmas shirt, and there's Santa, and there's the reindeer, and they're flying over the city like that scene in Elf. You know the scene in Elf. Yeah. Okay, cool. I was just making sure. I feel like Elf is just a movie that everybody has seen, just like no matter what. And we even for, if me and Cass seen, forced Brianna to watch it for Christmas in July. Course. It's so good. Why do you have to force her? It's well, we so didn't actually funny. force her. She was willing to watch it. We just, I make a joke. I joke that we force her to do things, but in reality, okay. she's really excited to do the things we offer her. Exactly. <laughs> she's like, I don't know. This is my, this is Brianna. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> Brianna be like, you Whoa! know. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, a uh. little bit of. <laughs> she's like, how do you, how do you describe yourself? And it's just like, ah! Ah, you're right you're right that's, that's all it is but okay sorry bye um do i have to say anything else yeah um new episode next when am i doing these episodes give me a second i think it's friday i mean are you doing them every week i am doing them every it's friday yeah new episode next friday thank you for watching hopefully that went well we'll see how it goes it's all good. yeah